Hi, hi there, Pisces. How are you guys doing? I really hope that this video finds you well. Welcome to your reading back with me again, Anissa from Lunar Stereo. For those of you who are in my channel, hello. And for those of you who have been a long time, welcome, welcome back. So this is going to be a love general messages. The format is going to be you versus them. So I'm going to be pointing out about who is it that we're going to be talking about today, your challenges, past, present, and future, actions that we can be expecting from both parties. And by the end of the reading, I'm also going to be pulling some advice card for you guys, all right? Keep in mind that this is general reading, so the rules might get reversed, or it may not or it may or may not resonate with you at all. And don't forget to check your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign. All right, let's do it. <clears throat> so Pisces, who are, who are we going to be talking about today? The Knight of Swords, Seven of Swords is in reverse, the Moon card. Okay, what is Pisces challenges? Ace of Wands is in reverse, and also the Empress. Okay, you got, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, okay. So whoever it is that you're dealing with right now, they do have like a lot of um, questions inside of their head pertaining towards this relationship, but also at the same time, I feel that this person really does want like a forward movement with you guys. And I feel that this person is gonna be letting in you in on some secrets or some informations or some truth about the connections. Like maybe you were dealing with somebody who kind of like was holding it all together and not really confessing their emotions or confessing the truth or whatever that is. But I feel that because they do have like a big giant questions inside of their head pertaining to this relationship, they, they, they see it as like, okay, I think in order for me to get the answers that I'm looking for, or in order for me to get the clarity, closure, confirmations that I'm looking for, I need to be the first person who lay down my source or who lay down my truth. So that's the person that you're dealing with. What's your challenges, Pisces? Is the lack of freshness or the lack of newness in regards to this relationship. I do feel that somehow you guys also lack the will or intentions to create some sort of newness within this connection, okay? Because Pisces are very creative, right? Pisces and Sagittarius is pretty similar. I'm a Sagittarius. Um, traditionally, we both rules by Jupiter. So there is that go with the flow, that mutability that we have to create some sort of newness within the relationship. But I feel that you don't feel like doing it right now. And the reason for that is because you got the Empress here as a challenge. So when Empress is in the challenge, I also, I always see it as a, like a Venus combust in a natal chart. So you are having like a little bit of a problem when it comes to expressing your desires within this connection. It's like you want this person to do a certain type of thing, but it's like you're having like a little bit of a difficulty. So there's like this, in your throat every time you kind of like want to say the two of them like look i want you to do this to me i want you to be like this like, like i want you to bring me flowers but i don't want to be telling you to bring your flowers i want you to have the you know intentions or wills to bring me flowers that 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 type of examples all right so let's see what's going on in the past from their side first please the past Four of Wands. So this person does really acknowledge that this connection is something special because um, with the Four of Wands, you got the 11 11. It's like either they believe that this connection is a sort of twin flamish for them or karmic or soulmate. But it's like, even though you guys are two totally different people, but it's like at some point you guys could see each other eye to eye. There's this sense of like, thank God I found you. I'm so lost without you. Seven of Pentacles. They're not, they're trying as much as they can to not rush into this. Okay, they're just like, you know, I trust the process. I do have the strong feelings for Pisces, but I'm just going to be trusting the process. Th th this might get you a bit aggravated, though, because the Seven of Pentacles isn't the most active um, cards of all time. It's more like like passive one. Okay, I'm, I fed you this. I'm going to be waiting for my return of investment. So, yeah. Let's see from Pisces' side. You got the Page of Cups. Wow, the Tower. Hmm. Interesting, Pisces. So, you also kind of initially feel that this person has something that you want from them. It's like, it's either, wow, like you're very, I don't know, it's just like one characteristic or one personality of theirs that you feel that you need to learn. Because again, like tr traditionally in a traditional astrology, Ju um, Pisces is ruled by Jupiter and Jupiter loves to learn. Same like Sagittarius, right? Like 
there's something inspiring about you. I want to learn how you do that. It's like it's either they're very confident or it's very successful or they're very like emotionally wise. It's like you see them like I want to learn that from you. Give me that, okay? Give me that. I want something of that. I want to taste some of that. Something like that. But then there's this tower. Let's clarify what that is. The King of Wands, that's fast. The King of Wands, the Eight of Cups, and also the Wheel of Fortune. So let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles from their side. It's weird because both of you really want the same thing. But the, the way that you guys do things are totally different. You're more active. You're more like the king of wands. Let's do something fun. Let's let's have some quality times together. Um, they're more like active services or gift giving. That's how I see eight of pentacles. Okay, it's more like active services. Let's build. It's very slow moving. Whereas the king of wands is something that really wants really fast. Like right now, I want to see the result. I want to have fun with you. I want some physical touch with you. I want some quality time with you. I want some words of affirmations with you. This person, like you might, even though their inten intention is good, even though they have that high strung of emotions for you. You kind of see this person as being cold. And, you know, with the Queen of Swords and also the Four of Wands, it's like, it's either they tell you this or you just have this impression about them. It's like, the things that you do for fun, they're way above it. Okay? And it's either they tell you this or they're giving you that impression. So it might be that you, you're... You're laughing, <laughs> like you're really laughing at some jokes, like really, really silly jokes that every normal people in your mind would laugh at that, but they'd be like, ha ha. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like something like that. You have that impression as if like they're looking down on you. You gotta be a certain type of person in order for this person to respect you or to be on their level. Something like that, okay? So even though you're quite passionate about it, but there's also a part of you that is emotionally walking away from it because you're starting to see like another new opportunities ahead with a will of fortune here. So your passion is still here, but emotionally you're checking out because it's not emotionally fulfilling for you. Okay, so in the present moment from their side first, please. The death card in reverse. If this is a separation, if this is a breakup, this person's certainly not over you yet. The nine of wands, but they're kind of like too afraid to approach you. This is similar to Clara's rating though. Um, how about from Pisces side? The four of swords. You're not giving this you're not giving this a single thought. You know full well that this person is either wanting some sort of clarity, closure, confirmations from your side, but you're like, no, you you know full well that this person is expecting you to do something. It's either you, they're expecting you to chase after them or whatever like that is. But you guys are like, no, 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 no. You know, <laughs> the four swords in this deck of mine is like, you see, this person is just peacefully taking a nap, even though he know full well there is like four hungry wolves just staring at him. It's like, hello, I'm going to eat you. It's okay. I'm just going to take a nap. It's all right. <laughs> Your emotions with them sometimes it is, I swear to God, this is so similar to Aquarius reading that I just did. It's either you have Aquarius placement or you could be dealing with an Aquarius person. But the rules might get reversed uh, for you in that Aquarius reading though. But it's like, there are times where you feel like on top of the world with this person. There's times where you feel like, oh my God, like this person, no one like him, no one like her. But then there's also times where you feel that the lowest point of a relationship where you feel like you don't trust them and you're starting to have these um, snakes coming after you. Oh my God, it's so cold. Like, I don't think I could do this anymore. So if you guys are still in contact, this person is being a bit wary of you because of your fluctuating mood or your fluctuating energy. Because there are times where you guys are very intense, where you guys are like 
woo like that like, very warm and everything like that but then there's also times where you feel that like you need a timeout your energy your battery energy it runs out and this person's like what is going on with pisces like yesterday pisces was fine pisces was intense pisces was doing the stuff that they used to do but like why is it now they're not doing it okay so they're being a bit wary of you however if this is like a breakup situation they're clearly not over you but they're kind of like afraid to approach you it's either because they feel that you guys have another options i swear this is similar to aquarius read it it's either they feel that you guys have another options or is because they do not want to cause a fight or they're not sure like if i were to be investing in the situations between me and pisces with this with this time around it will finally be okay because it's either they have gone through the same stage within this relationship with you or they've done it with multiple people in the past and they're tired of it let's see in the future from their side first please The Judgment, the Seven of Swords, sorry, the Five of Swords is in reverse. How about from Pisces side? The Three of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles is in reverse. So Nine of Swords is in reverse, Nine of Pentacles is in reverse, Ace of Wands is in reverse. The Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups in reverse. I don't know. One person in this relationship is really clearly overthinking about this stuff. One person is not expressing their real truth, though, their real emotions, and they kind of like keep it all to themselves. I don't know why. It's like, why? I don't understand people sometimes, you know what I mean? Like, they're a the type of people who's like, I'm not going to be expressing my emotions. I'm not going to be expressing how much I need this person because otherwise I'm, not, I'm no longer going to have control in this relationship. Like, dude, why? Like, why? So one person is clearly not expressing things because they feel that it makes them highly desirable. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? If this is you, Pisces, we need to talk. Because I don't understand. All right? It's funny because both of you really want to work on this relationship but because there's one person here who's been again i'm not going to be expressing whatever how much i need another person because i want to be desirable i don't want to lose control Bah. there's going to be that attempt with the three of pentacles in here but whoever it is that's closed off man you're i think you guys are bumped in the head when you were born sorry <laughs> i'm sagittarius <laughs> But yeah, um, it's going to be like a little bit of a false start because one person is not clearly not wanting to express because they want to be desirable. So let me clarify this through a judgment card. Because here's the thing, maybe because I'm a fire sign, because I'm a Sagittarius, it's like, I'd rather do things now than I regret, than like five years from now, me looking back and be saying like, I wish I did that. I wish I done that. You know what I mean? Like I could have done better. Like I hate thinking that way. So if that's you, Pisces, I'm like, no. Being cold is unattractive, okay? <sighs> this person feels that the ball is in your court. They're waiting for that, for you to be doing something about this relationship. I don't know why, but like, they really do, like, they want truce, they want peace. They're going to be laying down their weapons with the Five of Swords in reverse. They're going to be peaceful with you. 
but also at the same time, I see this person being Pisces needs to do this first. Let's see the three swords in your from your side. The Knight of Cups. The Moon card. By the end of it, I do see you guys um, so complicated. Let's see the Five of Swords in reverse. The Swords in reverse. What is this? Death card. <laughs> like they want to get things going, but let. They want to get things going between the two of you, right? They're still highly optimistic in regards to this connection between the two of you. They know that you still love them. They know that you still care about them. But why do I get a sense that even if you do things first, like they're kind of like demanding you guys to do something first. But even if you do something first, it's just weird, man, because like they want you to come back, right? They want you to do pursue them. They want you to do something. And even if you do that to them, it's like you're being met with coldness. You're being met with this judge who's trying to tell you what's right and what's wrong. Who is very calculative, who is very like, okay, you give me that much, I'm going to give you that much too. By the end of the day, you're going to be seeing how burdening this relationship has been for you. I do see you guys somewhat doing something about it, just like they're expecting you guys to do. Maybe to some of you. I know you're going to be like, I'm not going to do it in a sub. Yeah, some of you will. Because it's in here. But again, even if you do it, it's going to be met with that cold heart's judge. And they're probably going to be saying, they're, they're like, I don't really trust you yet. Like, I just don't understand this reading. People are so complicated. That's your advice, Pisces. This is so long. Advice for Pisces, please. The Page of Pentacles. Oh wow, that's a lot. Six of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and also the World card. Keep in mind that I'm using an after tarot deck, so it's very different than a traditional right away to row. But the message here is all about you, though. Like the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles, you, you see somebody who's eyeing a pentacles, right? From top to bottom. I think you, especially next week, right? This time frame, I mean. Um, there's going to be like a lot of people who's trying to engage with you. It could be your friend. It could be your family members and all of those stuff. And I feel that you need to engage with them. You need to be interacting with them. When you guys are interacting with them, be present, all right? Don't... Uh, be very present don't let your head run around around so much because by you being present with your support system and the people who who needs you and who cares about you you'd fully comes to realize that you know what like life isn't all just about this one particular person it's more than that I'm not saying that you should move on or you should move forward towards this person, but it's just that by you switching your focus not fully into here and 
um, switching your focus towards other things that matters, like other people who respect you, other people who loves you, other people who supports you, and all of that stuff, is going to give you some sort of a change of perspective. That way you can judge the situations better, and that way you know what to do in regards to this relationship better than if you were just to be focusing, like with a horse, um, glass, with like a horse glass just on this, it's going to kind of like me, you be in a limbo. Try to balance out your life a little bit here, all right? So I think that is it for my reading for you, Pisces. I hope that you find tons and tons of clarity you've been looking for. And I look forward to seeing you next week for your weekly reading. All right, bye-bye, guys. Have a great day. I love you.